London First Day UK podcast taping this mid-Friday afternoon on a historic day for baseball and sports video gaming. Joining me on the line from Out of the Park Developments, Brad Cook. Brad, huge day for you. Yeah, yeah, it is. Thanks for having me on. We're we're pretty excited. Well, tell us what's going on, because people listening now are saying, historic day in baseball, I don't understand why, so tell us what's going on. Historic day, yes. <laughs> it's uh, it's a day that, that will go down in history. Uh, so Out of the Park Baseball version 16 is coming out this year, so we, we have 16 years uh, that we've been doing this game, and for the first time we'll have an official uh, Major League Baseball license, which is a pretty big deal. So we'll have official logos for not only... Um, Major League Baseball, but Minor League Baseball as well. And historical uh, Major League uh, Baseball logos will be in the game too. So, And that covers the leagues and uh, all minor leagues, AL, NL, um, and uh, all the teams. And so, yeah, that's that's uh, uh, that's a pretty big deal for us. It's it's unbelievable. The game's come such a long way. It's, you know, we had you on before. It's just a, a great announcement. It's it's fantastic for all fans of the game. Myself, Stephen, huge fans of the game, as you know, and we just love playing it. This is unbelievable to go from modding stuff and doing all that stuff to now just having the game packaged. How did this all come about? Yeah, we uh, they they've kind of uh, we, we we've been on their radar in the past. Um, you know, they they've pinged us every so often, like, hey, do you want a license? And uh, <laughs> Marcus was always a little unsure about uh, going there because of the you know what's involved and especially the cost, given that we're such a small company. You know, we all work from home, um, so it's not like we've got a large office around EA or anything. And uh, so he was always a little wary of that, but. Um, they, uh, you know, he finally decided to start talking to them last year, last, uh, summer and, uh, they, they had pretty good terms. Um, they were pretty easy to work with. They, they, they weren't very, uh, the, the, the financial side of it was not as onerous as he was afraid of. And, and, uh, they were really, you know, happy to work with us and, and do what was necessary. So, um, those kind of talks accelerated through the, through the fall and then the contract was hammered out in the winter. Um, I got to look over the contract with other people to kind of check out the details and give Marcus any thoughts on things. And uh, and then they were signed, and, and here we are. It's amazing. I should t- say to people, go to otpdevelopments.com or go to our site, ftukpod.com. We'll have all the information up there. They can pre-order the game now. This is what has staggered me about this announcement is that the game is still the same price and actually cheaper to pre-order now, given that you did this. So I don't want to get gauche and get into all the financial details, but how is that possible when you look at like MLB The Show? They came into it knowing they had a license. They built that whole format around selling it as big as possible. It's a huge game. You guys have gone from a from a grassroots movement, of, basically, to now getting into bed and into partnership with the, the biggest company, the biggest, baddest wolf possible. How have you kept it as this feel about the part baseball? And how have you been able to keep it price-wise down to where it's at? Yeah, uh, you know, we, we want to hold the line on our price as long as we can. I know a lot of PlayStation Xbox games are up to what, $60 yeah. now or 70, um, US dollars. Uh, so yeah, we, we, we really want to keep the price down. People can pre-order now for, uh, just $34.99, which is five bucks off the regular price. And, uh, yeah, we, we pass the savings on to you. I, I don't know. Uh, you know, Mar- Marcus um, wanted to keep the price there, and yeah, I mean, it's it's costing the company, you know, out of pocket, obviously, to get this license going, and there are uh, you know royalty fees and such. But uh, our expectation is that sales will grow enough to you know more than recoup what's been put into it. So that that's that's the way we approached it. And for everyone listening here in the UK, that's only twenty five pound for us. That's remarkable. This, but then to perspective again with MLB the Show, which is obviously the the console competitor in that regard and that's an unbelievable achievement what else is going into out of the park 16 and i'm guessing you guys must understand this is the biggest year possible now this is the year you get the license (laughs) everything's going to go through the roof without you guys even meaning to do stuff people are going to go crazy for this so what else is going into the actual game yeah, we, we've actually got a lot of other things. I mean, I suppose we could have just uh, said that we had official license yeah. and dropped the mic and walked <laughs> off stage. But uh, we, we've got, of course, we've got the, we'll have the opening day rosters like we do every year. You know, we've got an awesome roster team, uh, a bunch of dedicated people who uh, pour through all kinds of information. We've got, we'll have full minor league rosters as well, you know, uh, for, for everybody, which is a pretty big deal. And then we're actually adding Australian League baseball which is uh, wow. actually exists it's a real thing and and that's being added 
to the uh, other international leagues that were added last year in, in Japan and Korea, Taiwan, et cetera. Um, and then we'll have, uh, we'll have new owner goals. Um, your, your team owner will, uh, will have short and long term goals for you and will be a little more demanding as far as what he wants out of you. Um, we've redesigned the coat, the managers and the, and the coaches system. So they've got certain preferences and, um, you, you could very well run into a kind of a more hard nosed manager who may, um, really insist on setting some of the strategies on your team. Uh, if, 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 uh, if you're trying to dictate strategies, you, you may have a little headbutting going on, kind of like a uh, George Steinbrenner, uh, <laughs> Billy Martin kind of thing happening. Or you may have a more easygoing manager, and they're also the, the coaches have changed. The pitching coaches have certain skills and are better with working different kinds of pitchers. Um, we've also recoded team strategies, and then um, the finances uh, system was was changed, um, and that the reporting there and playoff coverage and a whole bunch of other stuff too. So there's, there's, there's a lot more in, in the newsletter that, uh, that we put out today. So what this is amounting to is essentially, uh, this is about as close as I can get to being the Red Sox general manager. Now, now I've got all the, the <laughs> graphics to go with it. I, I'm going to have basically, uh, Tito. I'm going to have John Farrell, the difference between those guys. This is about as close as we can get now. Uh, yeah, yeah, it really is. I mean, I've always said the game is, is like just, you know, stepping into the office uh, as a general manager and sitting down and, and running your team. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, definitely, it's going to really immerse you more in that, uh, with, with everything we've got happening in Out of the Park 16. And I guess the, the, the other question now is going to be, so you get MLB.com involved, you get the Major League Baseball license, the, the minor league license again, so you get all the team stuff. Is there any negotiations? Because this is probably the unbreakable wall to get through with the MLBPA. Do you have to go to those guys to get like players' faces, their likeness, or is that included with the the headshots and stuff from from Major League Baseball? Yeah, so we would have to go to MLBPA for that. Um, so we, we we don't have that out of the gate. Uh, I we haven't really spoken to them. I don't really know uh, honestly what's what's involved there. What what would be required? Um, we're just dealing with MLB. Uh, my, my understanding is there's, um, a little bit of friction maybe between MLB and MLB PA, uh, that's developed, not, not because of us or anything, just in general. And, uh, so MLB is kind of like, yeah, you know, league and team logos, all that stuff's great. And then the other stuff is, you know, not our concern. So, uh, and as usual, people know that there will be the, the various workarounds to get what they want in the game as far as player images. I guess should say the pre-order special price lasts till February the 15th. If you enter, you get a chance to enter the sweet stake on MLB.com. You get the game three days before the release date, so you get it even earlier. This is unbelievable. I'm so happy and proud. I'm so excited as a fan. I'm not sure if you can tell. This is huge. This is huge for the thing. You must understand how incredible this is. Of course you understand how big this is for the game, the company, and the fans. Yeah, yeah, I do. I mean, uh, as I told you before we started recording, you know, I got up early. Uh, I got up about five thirty my time. I'm in California um, just to watch Twitter blow up and <laughs> and post stuff on Facebook and and see everything happening. So uh, yeah, I mean, there's just the excitement level compared to past years is is through the roof. I mean, there's 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 a ton of stuff happening right now. So uh, we're 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 pretty excited. And you roll this over to the other games in the series. Is that something that you'd be looking at long term? It's obviously going to be many years down the line. The, the baseball game is so far ahead of the other games right now in terms of the longevity, how long it's been around the base audience. But is that something now the company is saying, hey, eventually maybe we go into the NHL, we go to this. This gives you a, a real footing in the, the mass market and with the, the, the big dogs, so to speak. Yeah, I, I think so. I, I don't know uh, what the plan is there. Um the iOS game, IOTP Baseball, will be renamed MLB Manager, and uh, that will be uh, it will add Android this year as well, and that game will have the official logos too. That's covered in the agreement. And then, yeah, I mean, we, we haven't spoken to the uh, NHL or any of the other leagues in, in Franchise Hockey Manager, and then, of course, we have Beyond the Sideline Football, which is the uh, NFL game. Um, and I don't know. At some point, we may. We'll 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 see. You know how it goes with this. I think this is kind of the trial run, so to speak. Um, and this is the game to do it with because it's been around for so long. And then we'll see uh, what happens from here. And you know, uh, it could it could lead to to the other games too. 
And I think the final thing to say is, have we checked Marcus is okay this morning? We understand that the excitement-wise, this hasn't got him too much. He's alive and well. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, I, I spoke to him not too long ago. He's, he's doing okay. Um, no, 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 uh, no, no issues or anything. Um, he hasn't, uh, passed out from, uh, some celebratory beers or anything. So <laughs> I, I think he's, he's doing okay. Actually, he's probably coding right now. Um, we, we added another programmer, Matt Arnold, over the winter, and, uh, I'm sure the two of them are fe- feverishly coding away on the game and, and, uh, working on things. I'm sure this cranks up the pressure, but if you step back from this and you just take a look at what's happened here, how proud are you guys of what's happened? Uh, we're, we're really proud. We're, we're, we're very excited. I mean, it was, there was a lot of work, you know, this, this, uh, this whole week, there's been a lot of back and forth. There have been like 8 billion emails between us and people at MLB. We've had to have everything that we've put out. The, even our press release had to be approved by them. The newsletter had to be approved. The screenshots that we put out today had to be approved. Um, they had to look at everything, and they, they look at it all in very minute detail. I mean, it comes down to like, can you change this slightly, move this over here, do this, do that. So um, our graphic designer, Daniela, hats <laughs> off to her. She was, she was going pretty crazy um, going back and forth with, you know, multiple iterations of images and, and other stuff. So, um, yeah, we're, we're pretty excited. But, but you know, it was, it, was, uh, it was a great experience. They were great to work with. They're really good people. And they even set aside some other stuff they, they were dealing with to make sure that we could – meet our uh, internal deadline of getting everything launched today so uh you know we're 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 very proud we're proud of ourselves we're proud of them we're we're happy to work with them i have to ask you about this as well i forgot to mention this cole hamels you're a phillies fan i'm a red sox fan what's going to go on here <laughs> i don't know what, what did, did any news come out today the last i heard was i know the phillies are shopping him around well, it appears to me now that the, the Phillies aren't interested in trading the guy, which makes no sense to me. I, I want him. I think you guys are happy to give him up. Can we do this deal in the game and then we can just screenshot and send it to him and they'll go, okay, that sounds pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, why don't we do it in the game and then, uh, <laughs> send it to them? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Uh, I don't, I, the, you know, the Phillies just, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen there. And, and, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm not sure. I, sounds like Ruben Amaro wants to make up for some maybe not so great prior trades and get, and get as much as he can for a guy like Cole Hamels, get a big haul and teams are only going to give up so much. So I don't know. He's kind of painted himself in the corner with the team, unfortunately. Uh, uh so yeah, I, 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 they, they need to rebuild. Um, and I'd be happy to help them make a trade if they want to talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is that is the one fan base I think you, the marketing has to be pointed towards. These Phillies fans with Ruben Amaro are not a happy bunch. Let's give them control of the team now. Let's give them out of the park baseball 16, which you can find, like I said, OTPdevelopments.com. Go to ftukpod.com, our website. The release, the screenshots, everything's up there as well. You can click the link to find <laughs> the pre-order code. Brad, this is just, this is immense. Thank you so much for coming on talking about it. It's, it's a great day. It's just a great day. It is. Thank you. Thanks for having me on, Ollie. I appreciate it.